Hello, my name is Austin Johns, and I will be presenting the Systems of Linear Equations MATLAB Live Script. This live script has two parts, a worked example and an interactive example that will also serve as a template for future Systems of Linear Equations problems. The worked example begins with three, a system of three linear equations with three unknowns, x1, x2, and x3. We begin by ordering the system of linear equations with all of the terms, including variables on the left-hand side and all of the constant terms on the right-hand side. We can use the left-hand side of these equations to generate the coefficient matrix, a matrix including all the coefficients in front of the variables x1, x2, and x3. Each column corresponds to one of the variables. The first column is all the coefficients in front of the x1 terms, and each of the rows represents one of the equations. So the first row corresponds to the first linear equation. We also generate a column vector of all of the constant terms in the same order as the rows in the coefficient matrix. We can then use the backslash operator to have MATLAB solve the system of linear equations, and the resulting solution vector will list the values of the variables in the order of the columns in the coefficient matrix. The last part of the worked solution, the worked example, shows that if you swapped the first and second column of the coefficient matrix, the first and second terms of your solution matrix would be swapped. As long as you're consistent in the ordering of the columns, the backslash operator will get you your solution. You just need to make sure you understand that which portion of this solution vector corresponds with, with, with which variable. Moving on to this interactive example, we begin with four equations and four unknowns. This template can be used for any number of equations and unknowns. And I wanted to show this with a more complicated example. Once again, this, these linear equations are a little disordered. So what we want to do is separate all of the constant terms on the right-hand side and all of the variable terms on the left-hand side. Currently, the coefficient matrix is an empty matrix. So we are going to now fill in the coefficient matrix. So looking at the first equa uh, linear equation, uh, the coefficient in front of the x1 term is 5. And then we're going to repeat that process for x2, x3, and x4. And then we will repeat that process for the next three linear equations, making sure that the column order is consistent. And just like I'm doing here, you can repeat this process with any system of linear equations you're working with and use this MATLAB Live script as a template. Next, we're going to look at the constant terms to create the column vector as we saw in the worked example. So now that our coefficient matrix and our column vector have been specified. 
this backslash operator should give us the solution to the system of linear equations. So once you have all of your matrices and vectors filled in, just simply hit the run button for the program to recalculate. And here are the values of x1, x2, x3, and x4. The results in MATLAB can be displayed either in line, as you see here, or on the right by pressing these two options on the right-hand side of the live editor. I hope this was helpful, and good luck with all of your systems of linear equation problems.